Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this episode we will use the silhouette portrait to cut sheet styrene for the purpose of scratch building. In the first example I will add some more details to a 172 scale Tarangus Viggen kit. When I studied reference pictures of the Viggen, I noticed that there are a ring of feathers around the exit of the afterburner. So, let's jump into the Silhouette Studio software and draw the shapes of the feathers. This software is included in the Silhouette Portrait package and it's quite sufficient for simpler tasks. However, for a more complicated design, I would argue that a dedicated sketch program or even a CAD software uh, will be much much better to use. I would use sheet styrene with a thickness of one quarter of a millimeter. In other projects I've been able to cut up to one half of a millimeter, but I haven't uh, tried anything thicker than that. Let's remove the protective paper from the cutting mat and place a piece of sheet styrene onto the adhesive surface. Use the regular hold cutting mat, that is the one that is shipped together with the silhouette portrait. Make sure that the knife is set to position 8. I use two knives actually, one that I have dedicated for cutting sheet styrene and one that I use for regular cutting like masks and stuff like that. I will include the settings for 0.25mm sheet styrene in the description of this video. So let's load the cutting machine with the raw material and start the cutting. After the cutting program has completed, we can carefully remove the sheet styrene from the cutting mat. And we can start to pry loose the feathers one by one. After some consideration I decided to use a strip of styrene with some cutouts as a base for the feathers. This simplified the assembly quite a bit actually. So this is what the different submodules looks like after assembly and primer. And here is the final result after painting and weathering. And I'm very pleased with the result. Okay, so in the second example, I will scratch build a 135 scale fume drum. The design is very simple. I have based it on the actual dimensions of an oil drum that I found out on the internet. And I have sim just simply recalculated the figures to match uh, 135 scale. The typical use for this, I think, would be a Durama or vignette where you have tanks or vehicles of any kind in 135 scale. I have included a link to the design files in the description of this video. I will just finish up drawing the final components. After that we can load the cutting machine with the same type of sheet styrene that we used in the previous project.
after the cutting program has completed, we can carefully pry loose all the components that we will use in our glue. But uh, be careful so you don't destroy anything. Please note that the roundels that are in the middle of the squares should not be used. These are the parts that we will use for the assembly. The locating tabs for the top and bottom should be placed approximately 1.5 mm from the edge. Use a round pencil to form the shape of the side of the barrel. After that I can glue in the locating tabs one by one. Yeah, I know, it's a little bit tedious, but it's very important to get them aligned. So let's continue by assembling all the small details on the lid. Phew, that took a while. Now we can proceed with forming the shape of the barrel. I'm going to use the square pieces of styrene with a hole in the middle as a template to form the round shape of the fuel drum.
Oh, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm using Tamiya Extra Thin to glue the styrene parts together. I'm putting one of the roundels in the middle of the barrel as a support. So let's continue with the lips. Uh, this is actually quite fiddly uh, because you have to uh, press fit the lid into the barrel and also align it with uh, locating tabs. So please bear with me. Right, finished. Now I only need to let the glue set for a couple of minutes before I remove the supports. Be careful when you remove the supports so you don't uh, rip the seam open on the side. But I'm not finished with it yet. It needs something more to look like the fuel drum I have in mind. I decided to add some strip styrene, uh, one millimeter half round type. If you thought gluing the lids on was fiddly, <laughs> this is even worse.
I had to use some liquid sprue to uh, fill some gaps and after that I sanded everything, uh, checked it and primed it. Here I have painted everything with XF62 olive drab and I also use some XF51 for the fading effect. I also did some rust weathering with uh, different types of uh, rust paints and uh, washes. So here you have it. I'm very pleased with the result and it was a fun little project to demonstrate uh, one of the capabilities of the silhouette portrait. In the next episode in the series, I will look into the difference between tape masks and uh, vinyl masks. <laughs>